Mr. Singleton, he's 91. Tom Borelli will never look at his neighborhood the same. The entire side of the street was, the houses were submerged. The rain fell for two days, and when it was over, the water reached the roof of Borelli's Bellevue home. You could see the, the pressure from the water had broken those windows right there. Thousands of homes were destroyed, the debris was piled high, and the volunteers came out in force. Borelli will never forget it. The human response to uh, that tragedy um, was so moving. <clears throat> it was, it was, it was what kept me from giving up. Borelli wanted to find a way to honor that response. Last year, nearly 600 people participated in the Hell or High Water flood run. The second annual event is scheduled for May 19th. I thought there's got to be a way that we can turn this into something positive each year. Tom will be the first to admit that the flood was awful. His life is much different today, but he still finds strength in what happened in those few days afterward. You know, you have to decide that you're going to persevere and you're going to turn a negative into a positive. He hopes sponsors will join his effort and the runners will show up again this year. Definitely has a lot of memories. Tom's home is gone. His family has moved out. But he believes the core of compassion will always remain. Oh, too bad.